if you go back and listen to my podcast from a few months ago, maybe six or eight months ago, you'll you'll hear me saying that James Comey should be arrested, that Andrew McCabe should be arrested, that John Brennan is a traitor, that Barack Obama committed, well, you could call it treason, but clearly crimes of abusing his authority, abusing his power, having secret spying, a FISA warrants on the Trump campaign officials and so on. Now, the reason I mention this is because just recently, Devin Nunez of California, congressman, has sent the names of many of those people to the Department of Justice as criminal referrals, in, in effect, saying that these people should be arrested and charged with uh, a multitude of crimes, including leaking, illegal leaks, which is a felony, and also lying to Congress, which I guess is a felony because that's what Roger Stone was charged with, and, and other people lying to Congress. I mean, Congress lies to us all the time, though, don't they? I mean, politicians lie all the time. When they're running for office, they lie. Yeah, we're going to stand for you. Yeah, you liar. No, you're not. You're going to stand up for yourself. That's it. You're going you're gonna to become a wealthy, corrupt politician. That's the truth. But they never say that, of course. In any case, Devin Nunez is one of those who isn't corrupt. He's actually quite, uh, quite the hero in this whole thing exposing the lies of the Obama administration, the lies of the deep state, the lies of the Hillary Clinton connected individuals who ran this Russia collusion hoax on Donald Trump. So it looks like some people are going to go down. Now, the information that I've been given over the last few months says that, you know, the Bush people still run the CIA, the CIA still runs the media. I mean, when you look at the media, it's actually a bunch of globalists pulling the strings. The journalists don't have any free reign to say what they want to say. They are ordered what to say. And that gets back to the CIA. And the CIA is actually run by the Bushes. And it was the Bushes that were trying to go after Trump. They wanted to get him out of office because he beat Jeb Bush. Remember Jeb? Jeb exclamation mark. Jeb! Well, Jeb didn't do very well. It was beaten quite easily, quite early back in 2016. So they're trying to get Trump out of the way. And this is really what was behind this. It was like the Bushes were cooperating with the Obama administration, deep state, to try to destroy Trump. But when George Bush Sr. passed away a few months ago, remember he had a big, big funeral, presidential funeral, you know, and he used to be, he used to run the CIA. He was the head of the CIA before he was president, following uh, President Reagan. And right before Bill Clinton became president, well, he died. And when that happened, what I'm told is that the remaining Bushes, i.e. W and Jeb and whoever else is surrounding the Bush orbit, they decided to make peace with President Trump. And so the Trump camp made peace with the Bush camp. And they the, the terms of the deal were that the Mueller report was going to exonerate President Trump. So they had the Mueller report rewritten. And you've already seen, you know, the, the early version of it came out and there's no evidence of collusion. There's not even an accusation now of collusion with the Russians. This is all part of the deal. But the other parts of the deal were that Obama and Hillary Clinton are not going to be implicated, but that there will be lower level people who will be sacrificed arrested, prosecuted for their role in these deep state crimes. And that, my friends, is exactly what we are seeing unfold right now. Barack Obama is not going to be prosecuted. Sadly, he's the biggest treasonous criminal of them all. Hillary Clinton will not be prosecuted. Sadly, she is a corrupt criminal official who destroyed evidence that was under subpoena. She obstructed justice just on and on. But she's going to get away with it, as usual, because the Clintons are never held accountable. But in exchange for that, President Trump is going to be allowed to finish out his first term, at least. And he will not be dragged out of office by the, the Bush deep state with accusations of colluding with the Russians. So this is the deal that we're living with now. And you are seeing it play out 
in front of us every day. Again, Trump is allowed to stay in office because they could, they could fabricate anything. They could remove him if they really, really wanted to. They were trying for two years and they could have succeeded. But Trump's going to stay in office. Hillary Clinton's going to go free. Barack Obama will avoid prosecution. But guess who's going to jail? People like Peter Strzok, Lisa Page, maybe Loretta Lynch, John Brennan, perhaps. It's hard to say. He might be connected enough. He might have enough dirt on other people that he can get away. But Andrew McCabe, perhaps. And James Comey. I am certain James Comey is facing prosecution, as he should, because he is, well, that guy is a real snake right there. But you got to understand, everything that happens in Washington is about deal making. It's all about deals. Art of the deal, as Trump wrote in his book. It's about deals. And a deal has been made. And in fact, William Barr, the new attorney general, was put in place to guarantee the deal. Because William Barr will be the one to prosecute people like James Comey. And William Barr will be the one to not prosecute or to protect from prosecution people like Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton, for that matter. So William Barr is the peacekeeper now as attorney general, and he is prosecuting those who are going to be sacrificed as part of this deal, and he is protecting those who will be protected. Now, the upshot is that, as usual, the rule of law is dead in America. The prosecution of people depends entirely on politics. And that's sad. I mean, even if James Comey gets prosecuted, and he should, it's still, you got to realize, it's still a political game. He's being prosecuted because he's being sacrificed, while other people who did far worse things are being protected. And to me, that's, that's just wrong. Hillary Clinton should be prosecuted. Barack Obama should be prosecuted. I mean, they actually did conspire with the Russians to frame Trump, to blame him for conspiring with the Russians. It's, it's beyond ironic. It's tragic. It's sickening. There are lots of people who should go to jail in Washington, members of the deep state, perhaps thousands of them. But it looks like they won't. We might end up with five people going to jail, five kind of representative bad guys. You know, like I said, James Comey, Peter Strzok. I don't know. And even then, their crimes aren't going to be that serious. They're not going to be tried for treason, looks like. They're going to be tried for you know, leaking or lying to Congress. They might get a year in prison, and that's it. So think about it. These people tried to overthrow America. They committed treason. They were engaged in sedition. They tried to destroy a nation in order to protect their power. And they might only face a year in prison. How insane is that? As far as I'm concerned, those people should spend life in prison, or maybe if a court finds them guilty of more serious crimes, but that's not going to happen. They're going to get off, for the most part. Because we don't have justice in America. We have a rigged system. Under every president, it's rigged. Under every attorney general, it's rigged. Everything is a deal. Everything is a sellout. Everything is theater. They have to have a few people go to jail to throw red meat to the conservatives. But they have to protect Obama and Clinton, you know, to keep the, uh, the two-party globalist system going. It's all, it all comes down to the same people. It's all globalists running America and destroying dissent, censoring real investigations, and halting anyone who's trying to uncover the truth. That's what's actually happening. It's sad, but that's the state of affairs in America today. But you can stay informed, right? You can read my website, newstarget.com. I also publish trump.news if you want to see Trump-related news. And we're just going to keep plugging away here, doing what we do, regardless of what happens in Washington. What else can we do? Can't march on Washington and just demand the arrest of John Brennan. I don't know. Maybe we could. If enough of us did it, I don't know, a million people might make a difference. But we're, we're, we're busy. We're the Americans who actually are working for a living and running businesses and hiring people and inventing things and creating things. We don't have time to go marching around Washington like all these unemployed leftist Antifa members. We've got real jobs to do, so I'm just going to stick with that. I'm just keep doing lab science and food science and publishing articles that you need to read. That's what we do. So thank you for your support. Mike Adams here, the Health Ranger, 
Newstarget.com and naturalnews.com. Most of the vitamin C available on the market today is made from genetically modified corn. If you want non-GMO vitamin C, get it from the Health Ranger store. We are certified non-GMO, lab tested for heavy metals, glyphosate, microbiology, and a lot more. Check out our non-GMO vitamin C at healthrangerstore.com. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com. <laughs>